Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at... We have got Superman Doomed. DC Comics Multiverse. This was Mattel. It was part of the Build-A-Figure line for Doomsday. Um, in this line they did the Armored Batman, the Female Robin, the Lex Luthor from the movies, uh, Supergirl from CW, Mutant Leader, and Superman Doomed. So... Got a little synapses there. And, yeah. This is Mattel. So let's go ahead and open him up and take a look at him. And then we'll look at the bill of figure part. Alright, so there we have him. Superman doomed. And this guy stands 7 inches, just about. I'm sure if we stood him up properly, he would be literally seven inches. Um, pulling him out of the package, I noticed a few things. Uh, pulled out the arm, too, for the, I believe it's the left arm for Doomsday. Um, I am really glad that it seems that Mattel isn't doing these lines of figures anymore. It seems like McFarlane's kind of been doing the DC figures, and I really really like that for a few reasons i mean it just feels very cheap plasticky like you know 90s cheap plasticky um not saying it's a bad figure by any means but like i mean that was like the immediate reaction i got you know i mean like, i've been over here reviewing like you know NECA's and mcfarland's and stuff for a while now and this definitely is a noticeable difference and then like I mean, this just feels like something that's going to bust on me if I actually try messing around and playing with it, you know? But let's set that arm to the side, because we do not have the parts for that, and we probably will never have the parts for that. But let's just look at the detail here. Um, and by the nose, uh, in the fight with Doomsday, he got infected by a Doomsday virus, and kind of basically turned into Superman Doomsday, so... Um, this cape is kind of foot by the foot. <laughs> it feels very plasticky, um, gummy kind of material. Now, I do like how vibrant, like, his colors are. Like, as soon as I pulled him out of the box, I was like, well, he's, like, a lot more standout-ish than, like, I expected him to be. Um, very shiny, too. But there are a lot of, like, little little things with him that, like, I don't like. Like, on his shoulder here, you can see all of those, like, kind of... Like, I want to say scratches and dents and stuff, but, you know. And it's not, like, part of, like, the figure itself. And then, like, I don't like how he has... I don't know. Just, like, there's just something about him that, like, feels very off to me. But we'll go ahead and start looking at articulation here. We have got head. We've got a little bit of movement going on. We've got like the classic twist. We do have a little bit of up and down. Can we do a nope? We can get kind of you know tilt on the head and everything, but I wouldn't push that too far. And then arms we do have as you can see we've got enough mobility there i'm actually going to just go ahead and set this up like here no we're flip this okay this is way easier so we've got our up and down swivel we do have our bicep and we've got our up and down. And does this twist too? No. But then the wrists just swivel and rotate. Like they don't have any kind of actual articulation to them. So, same thing on the other side. We've got that bicep, we've got that shoulder, and then we have got up and down and swivel. We do have this abdomen that we can bend around at. And then do we have twist? 
Do we have twist? Yeah, okay. It's a click twist, so. No, it's not. It's just stiff. Okay, so. Twist. Basic. We can do the splits. Up and down. Give us that full leg motion there. Um, we do not have any kind of foot action, do we? We've just got the... Imagine if your foot looked like that. That would hurt. And then that knee. Ooh, that's tight. Same on the other side. Can take that foot up. And the lovely broken foot, you know? That's great. And then knee. Those knee joints are very stiff. But then just that. So that is our figure. I do not believe you can remove the cape. Yeah, no, that's not removing. Nope. So, that is just it. Mattel doesn't do a bad job with their figures, but I, I feel like they are lower quality than what anybody that's actually going out for collecting is used to. You know what I mean? But, not bad. I do, I am curious because of how big this arm is. I do want to see a finished build a figure for this Doomsday just to see how he does look. I mean, I don't really care about the figure too much. I mean, like, he doesn't look that great to me in that. But I do want to see just like the sheer size of him because he's got to be a pretty decent sized figure. I mean, comparing this arm here, like. It's got to be a decent sized figure, I think around like 9 inches probably, but it could be 7 inches, just beefy. But yeah, Superman doomed.